played a lot of badminton with my kids. By the seventh shot, this thing's up in the tree, okay? So then what does your kid do? She says, Mommy, I'll get it down. Throws a racket up in the tree. Now your racket's up in the tree. She says, don't worry, I'll get that down. So now your kid goes into the garage and goes and gets the red rubber ball, which would come as standard equipment in any kind of backyard band badminton set. Throws that in, that immediately gets impaled. So she goes to get something else to get, the to, to get one of these things down, okay? Now there are kids from all over the neighborhood that have come into your backyard, and they're emptying out your garage, throwing stuff at your tree, all right? You realize suddenly you own 18 basketballs. You've got nine footballs, okay? There's softballs flying through the air. The tree is now groaning with children and equipment, all right? Someone's turned on the hose. Badminton is a water sport. They're trying to get the, this thing down with a hose. And somehow, mothers from all over the neighborhood hear that badminton is being played at Mary's house. They're dropping off their kids. They know it's an all-day affair. They know it's going to involve 17 other sports. They're dropping off their kids. They're leaving skid marks, okay? You've got Colleen Clark up in the tree trying to get down a SpongeBob SquarePants beach ball with a hockey stick, okay? There's pool sticks flying through the air like javelins, and you hear yourself saying, somebody's going to poke an eye out. It just never ends. It's a what? Everything is going on, right? Then you see Christopher Burr, and it's always Christopher Burr. He takes a rollerblade, throws it up at the tree, hits your car, you got a dent in your Jeep. You realize you better get your Jeep out of the way, and you also realize that for the first time in seven years, you can actually pull your car into the garage because there's no sporting equipment there anymore. Not even the inflatable raft that hasn't seen action since the baby duck rescue of 1997. You pull your car into the garage, and as you do, your other kid is coming out. He's on the phone with R.T. Murphy. He sizes up the situation and says, hey, come on over. We're playing badminton. 